Hello dear students, in this part of uh, lecture we are going to study about how to find the square root of a complex number, second one is how to find the cube root of unity, nth root of unity, de Morris theorem and exponential form of complex number. Let us take the first that is how to find the square root of a complex number. Now let us take how to find the square root of a complex number. Suppose we have to find the square root of the complex number a plus ib. So how to find the square root of this complex number? This is the general representation of complex number. Let, let the square root of complex number a plus iota b is another complex number that is x plus i y. Suppose the square root of this complex number is x plus iota y. So which implies a plus iota, bar, uh, iota b taking square both sides is equal to x plus iota y whole square. So which implies a plus iota b is equal to. So using the identity a plus b whole square that is equal to a square plus b square plus twice of a b. So which is equal to a square that is x square minus y square plus 2 iota x y. As we know that iota y square iota y square is equal to iota square into y square iota y square is equal to sorry iota square is equal to minus 1 which is minus y square. So, which implies a plus iota b is equal to x square minus y square plus twice iota x y. So, this is the real part of this complex number and this is the imaginary part of this complex number. So, x square minus y square is the real part of this complex number and this is the imaginary part of this complex number. So, equating real parts and imaginary parts both sides here we get a is equal to x square minus y square and b is equal to 2 x y. So, keep this is first. Here we can get b square is equal to 4 x square y square. Now, also we know that we know that x square plus y square whole square is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4x square y square. So, this is the identity which implies x square y square whole square is equal to this is equal to a a square plus b square. From here we get x square plus y square is equal to square root of a square plus b square. Keep this is second. Now here we suppose square root of a plus iota b is x plus iota y squaring both sides. So a plus iota b is equal to using the identity a square plus b square plus twice of ab that is equal to x square minus y square plus 
2i is iota xy that is a plus iota b is equal to x square minus y square plus 2i is iota xy equating real parts and imaginary parts here equating real and imaginary parts here we get a is equal to x square minus y square and b is equal to uh, twice x y so here we squaring both sides b square is equal to 4 x square y square also we know that the identity x square plus y square whole square is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4 x square y square from this identity, we have x square plus y square whole square is equal to, as we know that, x square minus y square is equal to a, that is a square, and 4x square y square from here, this is equal to b square, which gives us x square plus y square is equal to root a square plus b square. Solving first and second. You can solve first and second by adding and subtracting. First is this x square minus a square is equal to a. And second one is x square plus y square is equal to root over a square plus b square. Solving first and second, here we get the value of x is equal to plus minus root over a plus root of a square plus b square by 2 and b is equal to plus minus square root of root a square plus b square minus a divided by 2. So solving first and second you can get the value of x that is x is equal to plus minus square root of a plus root over a square plus b square by 2 and b is equal to plus minus root over root a square plus b square minus a by 2. So therefore, x is equal to plus minus root over a plus root over a square plus b square by 2 and b is equal to plus minus root over root a square plus b square minus a by 2. Here, if x into y is greater than 0, then square root of a plus iota b is equal to plus minus root a plus root over a square plus b square divided by 2 plus iota times root over root a square plus b square minus a by 2. x into y is less than 0, then square root of a plus iota b is equal to plus minus square root of a plus root over a square plus b square divided by 2, you can take here minus i square root of root over a square plus b square minus a by 2. So, this will be the square root of the rook complex number. And this is the procedure how to find the square root of a complex number. This can be written as in square root of a plus ib is equal to, as we know that, 
this is the real part of the complex number and this is the modulus of the complex number so this can be written as plus minus root this is the real part a real part of complex number plus modulus of complex number divided by 2 plus iota times square root of this is the modulus of complex number minus real part of complex number divided by 2 if the condition is x into y is greater than 0. So, if x into y is less than 0, then you have to take here minus psi. Let us take the example related to the same concept. So, example is find the square root of the complex number square root of the complex number minus 7 minus 24 iota that is you have to find the square root of minus 7 minus 24 iota As we know that the square root of a complex number is always a com complex number, therefore we can write here minus 7, square root of minus 7 minus 24 iota is equal to another complex number, suppose this is x plus iota y. Squaring both sides minus 7 minus 24 iota is equal to x plus iota y whole square that is equal to x square minus y square plus twice iota x y. So, equate real parts and imaginary parts both sides we get here x square minus y square is equal to minus 7 and twice x y is equal to minus 24. So, keep this is first. Also, we know that we know that the identity x square plus y square whole square is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4x square y square. Here we can get square in both sides 4x square y square is equal to or the square root of, uh, square of minus 24 is 576. So here x square plus y square whole square is equal to what is the value of x square minus y square it is minus 7 minus 7 square that is 49 plus 576 that is equal to 6 to 5. So which implies here x square plus y square is equal to plus minus what is the square root of 6 to 5? That is 25. So keep this is second. So we have to find the value of x and y. From first x square minus y square is equal to minus 7 and from the second x square plus y square is plus minus 25. So, first we will take here x square plus y square is equal to plus 25. So, adding first and second, adding first and second we get twice x square is equal to twice x square is equal to 
minus 7 plus 25 that is 18 or twice x square if we take this minus here this is minus 32 minus 32 here x square is equal to 9 therefore x is equal to plus minus 3 x square is equal to minus 16 so x will be for iota so x is equal to plus minus 3 x is equal to 4i subtracting first and second if we subtract first equation and second equation here x square plus y square is equal to minus 25 this is not possible here because this is the positive number this is the positive number the sum of two positive numbers is always a positive number therefore minus 25 is rejected so this condition is rejected here so we have take only x square plus y square is equal to 25 so adding first and second we get x is equal to plus minus 3 and subtracting first and second here if we subtract first and second minus 2y square is equal to minus 32 so y square is equal to 16 y is equal to plus minus 4 so here the value of x is plus minus 3 and y is equal to plus minus 4 therefore the square root of the complex number may be so 3 may be 3 x is 3 and y is 4 3 plus 4 iota so the square root of the given complex number here the value of x is plus minus 3 and y is plus minus 4 the product of here the product of xy xy is less than 0 that is negative that means we have to take the opposite signs here so the complex number is plus minus 3 minus 4 iota let's take the another example related to the same concept so example number 2 is find the square root of 1 plus iota so we have to find the square root of 1 plus iota suppose the square root of 1 plus iota is same that is x plus iota y following the same procedure squaring both sides 1 plus iota is equal to x square minus y square plus twice iota xy equating the real and imaginary parts here x square minus y square is equal to 1 keep this is first and 2xy is equal to 1 so which implies here squaring both sides 4x square y square is also equal to 1 also we know that the identity that is x square plus y square whole square is equal to x square minus y square whole square plus 4x square y square so which implies x square plus y square whole square is equal to this is 1 square that is 1 plus this is also 1 that is equal to 2 so here we get the value of x square plus y square is equal to plus minus root 2 that is equal to root 2 because x square plus y square cannot be negative here the value of x square plus y square is not equal to negative that is why we take the value of x square plus y square is equal to root over 2 so keep this is second so adding first and second here we get twice x square is equal to 1 plus root 2 
सो एक्स स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस रू टू बाय टू विच इंप्लाइज एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस माइनस रूट आवर वन प्लस रूट टू बाई टू सब ट्रैक्टिंग हेयर फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड इफ वी सब ट्रैक्ट माइनस वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस वाई स्क्वेयर माइनस ट्वाइस वाई स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस रूट टू वन माइनस रूट टू एंड वाई स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस रूट टू बाय माइनस टू दैट इज इक्वल टू वाई स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू रूट टू माइनस वन बाई टू सो वाई इज इक्वल टू रूट आवर root 2 minus 1 by 2 here the sign is plus minus so this is the value of x and y we have to find the value of here x and y so the required complex number may be plus minus the product of these two means x y this is minus plus minus this is negative therefore the required complex number may be root over 1 plus root 2 by 2 minus i times root 2 minus 1 by 2 whole root. So this is the square root of this complex number. Let us take the another example how to find the square root of complex number. Suppose we have to find the square root of 3 plus 4 iota. How can we find the square root of this complex number by using direct method? From the previous question or the previous derivation, we find here square root of the complex number root a plus iota b is plus minus square root of modulus of z plus real part of z over 2 plus iota times square root of modulus of z minus a real part of z by 2 if x y is greater than 0 otherwise here the sign is negative if x y is less than 0 thus we have to find only the square modulus and the real part here the real part of the complex number is 3 therefore root over 3 plus 4 iota is equal to plus minus square root of modulus of z here here modulus of z is equal to root 25 that is 5 pi plus real part of z is 3 divided by 2 plus iota square root of 5 minus 3 by 2 this is equal to plus minus 5 plus 3 is 4 by 2 8 by 2 is 4 that is 2 plus 5 minus 3 is 2 2 by 2 is 1 and root over 1 is 1 that is i so this is the square root of this complex number by using direct formula now let us take how to find the cube root of unity? Cube root of unity is the most important concept. Cube root of unity. So, what is the cube root of unity and what are the roots of the cube roots of unity? Suppose let 
z is equal to 1 raised to power 1 by 3. We have to find the roots of this complex number. So taking cube root both sides here, z cube is equal to 1. So which implies here z cube minus 1 is equal to 0. As we know that the identity a cube minus b cube that is equal to a minus b into a square plus a b plus b square. Therefore, z cube minus 1 can be written as z minus 1 into z square plus z plus 1 that is equal to 0. From here, either z minus 1 is equal to 0 or z square plus z plus 1 is equal to 0. So, which implies z is equal to 1. So, this is the first root. From this here, we can use the quadratic formula z is equal to minus b that is 1 plus minus root over b square 1 square minus 4ac that is minus 3 divided by 2a that is equal to minus 1 plus minus this is root 3 iota by 2. So the other two roots are minus 1 plus minus root 3 i by 2. So let suppose that the second root is omega that is minus 1 plus root 3 i by 2. And the third root that is omega square, that is 1 minus 1 minus root 3 i by 2. So these are the three cube roots of unity, 1, omega and omega square. Where omega is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 i by 2 and omega square is minus 1 minus root 3 i, uh, root 3 i by 2. So if we square this number, means this omega, you will definitely get this. Or in other words, if this is omega, then this is definitely omega square. So it is your choice. Either you can take omega this or this. So it is your choice. But if we square this omega, you will get this number means square of this number, this complex number is this complex number and the square of this complex number is this. So, 1 omega and omega square where omega is equal to this minus 1 plus root 3 i by 2. These are the three cube roots of unity. Cube roots of unity. So from this question, 1 omega and omega square are the cube roots of unity. So what are the relations of these three roots? If you can add these three roots, 1 plus omega plus omega square, you will get 0. Means sum of the roots of the cube roots of unity is equal to 0. And the second one, product of imaginary roots of unity, that is omega cube, that is equal to 1. Where omega is equal to minus 1 plus root 3 i by 2. And the third result is omega raised power 
3q plus r that is equal to omega power r and this is the most important result these are the three results of the cube roots of unity number one one plus omega plus omega square is equal to zero and omega cube is equal to one and this is the most important result omega raised to power 3q plus r is equal to omega raised to power r where the value of omega is this for example if we have to find the value of omega raised to power 101 this is same as omega raised to power you can divide here 1 raised 101 by 3 so this is 3 into 34 uh, 33 this is 99 plus 2 that is equal to omega raised to power 2 omega raised to power 2 that is all for today's lecture thank you very much